Hey, this is Junior Smart, your Bay Area real estate agent. So we're almost at the end of the year. Uh, today, I want to go over just a quick market update from September and October. But mainly, we're going to look at October, what happened in October. The cities that we're going to look at, it's most, going to be mostly uh, Santa Clara County. But we might look at one city that's in Alameda. So we're going to look at San Jose. Uh, and then we're going to look at Cupertino and then we're going to look at uh, Santa Clara and then we're going to look at Oakland and just to see what happened in o Oakland. Just a quick tip, if you are a buyer who's thinking about buying a limiter, you know, each county here is completely different of how the process work. You know, for example, if you're a buyer and you're buying in a limiter, oh, over there, the buyer pays most of the closing, basically all the closing compared to Santa Clara. In Santa Clara, you pay half and the seller pay half. But that also depends on how which market you're in. So if you're in a seller market, you don't really don't really want to ask. But if you're in a buyer market, then you can ask. Like right now, we are kind of in a buyer market. Or it's kind of weird. It's kind of a seller market. It's kind of a buyer market because there's not a lot of homes, you know, but then when there are homes, it goes fast if you price it right. So if you're a seller, you price your home right, it will go above ice king. Uh, if you don't price it right, it gets to sit on the market for long. And that gives the power, the buyer to negotiate a lot. All right, so let's look at the market update. Let's look at San Jose first. All right, so we're looking at San Jose, what happened in October. So in October, 305 homes sold in October. And the medium sale price, we had like a 1% increase. So the medium home sale price in September were 1,590,000. But in October, homes are now going for 1.6. So basically like a 1% increase. The reason for that is there's not a lot of homes on the market. So when the home come on the market and it's priced right and it's updated, basically it checks a lot of bucks, it's gonna go fast, you know? And on days on the market, it usually takes around average eight days for October that's how long it was taking for the homes to go. And if you are a seller, they receive 105% on their asking price. So if you're a seller and you're seeing your home staying on the market for long, it's because maybe you're not pricing it right or something's wrong because right now there's not a lot of homes on the market. So this is like a perfect time to sell your home. All right, so let's move on to Cupertino. So. Cupertino was really hot in September, but then it cooled down in October. So let's go over what happened. So in um, so in September, 22 homes sold. And in October, October there were only 15 homes sold. So I got 32% decrease. Uh, and the medium sale price in September, homes were going for 3 million. 310,000 but in October homes are now going for 3 million 230,000 so a slightly 2% decrease so if you're a seller who were selling their homes in that month um, September homes were selling in within seven days of being on the market and in September's and in September sellers were receiving check this in september sellers were receiving 113 percent over asking so in september was a really hot month in cupertino but in october that came down sellers were receiving 106 percent on their asking price i mean i think the reason for this is because a lot of um, companies are located in cupertino especially apple so a lot of workers are thinking about coming back so I think that's why Cupertino saw a lot of action in September and most of the Bay Areas are still seeing 
way above asking price so i think a lot of companies are coming back to the office so, so that's why we're seeing this but there's not a lot of homes on the market so if you're a seller this is a really perfect time all right so let's look at santa Clara. let's see what happened how did the market do so in september 28 homes sold and in october october saw more action we had a 34 home that were selling in santa Clara. the median wholesale price in september were one million seven hundred and fifty five thousand and in october october saw like a basically like a three percent increase so it went up to 1.8 on average homes were staying on the market for basically seven or eight days depending how you price it and if you price it right sellers were receiving above asking price if you don't price it right it just gets to stay on the market for long so that's what's happening in santa Clara. and Santa Clara always see a lot of action because that's where most of the companies are located and a lot of people want to be closer by there. All right, so let's look at how Oakland did. So Oakland is in Alameda County. Alameda County is a little bit more affordable compared to the Santa Clara. Santa Clara is, is where most of the tech companies are, but a lot of people tend to live in Alameda County and just work and just commute to silicon valley especially in union city oakland because you can take bar it's really not a far drive like a 45 minute but let's look at how the market did in oakland so in the month of september september there were 155 homes that sold in oakland and in october october had more action so there were 169 so like a 9% increase. So in September, home, the average homes were 1,070,000. And in October, October saw a 3% a increase, so a 1.1. So if you are a seller, that's a good thing. On average, homes were staying a little bit longer compared to the Santa Clara County. Homes were staying 15 days on the market. And if you're a seller, you are receiving 112 on your asking price. So that's a really good thing. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out this video. It will explain what it's like to live in San Jose. If you have any question, you can comment below. So see you in the next video.